Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. Lake Atitlan is around a three to four hour bus ride from Antigua. The lake itself was formed around 84,000 years ago after a major volcanic eruption. Water has now filled the lake and there are still three volcanoes in the area and it makes for a, an amazing view. you'll come to the village of Panahachel on Lake Atitlan and from there you can catch a boat to one of the villages that's scattered around the lake. A boat ride will cost you between 10 and 25 quetzales per person on the Publico boats and the cost depends on how far along the lake you go. which is a backpackery kind of village. Uh, it's got a lot of restaurants, a lively vibe, and a lot of places to eat and to shop around. We stayed at an Airbnb in San Pedro with million dollar views for only 10 US dollars a night. There is a range of accommodation options to suit all tastes, from rowdy hostels to tranquil lakeside boutique hotels. Speaking of hostels, we hung out at the Hostel Fee Bar and won their weekly trivia. Mega mojitos all around. Another shout out that we wanted to make was for the El Barrio Bar. Their 40 Quetzal weekend brunch was ridiculously cheap for the mouth-watering banquet we received. The El Barrio team were ultra friendly and welcoming as well. You must check them out for a hearty breakfast if you're ever in the area. The other place that's quite popular is San Marcos, which has more of a hippie laid back vibe. And we're currently at Santa Cruz, which is quieter, more tranquil, and has the beautiful views of the two volcanoes that you can see behind me. We stayed at Casa Cactus, a boutique hostel only a short walk from the shoreline. We love this place for its tranquility, large rooms, friendly service and nice inclusive breakfast. There is also a great back on the area that overlooks the lake. It's very useful for a spot of sunrise yoga too. We made good use of the proximity to the lake here and swam a lot. It was more accessible than San Pedro and we had also read that it wasn't advisable to swim around San Pedro given the higher levels of pollution there. We highly recommend paying a visit to the locally run Cafe Sabor Crucino in the village up the hill for some nice food and phenomenal views. The cafe also supports the local community by promoting vocational skills. There are also cooking classes and other classes available that you should check out as well. And that's it for us for now. This is Jay and John Bucket List Travellers signing off. See you next time. We'd love to hear what you thought about our clip, so please like and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Left and right in the